at the restaurant. Kate, have you decided what to order? Not yet. Can you order for me too? Sure. Would you like chicken salad with cola? Excuse me. Good evening. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have a chicken pizza with extra cheese and toppings and a cold drink. And for you, ma'am? Um, actually. I would like to have the spaghetti with meatballs, salad, donuts, and butterscotch ice cream. Honey, had not you asked me to order for you? I'm sorry, Tom. I was not able to control myself after seeing so many things. Have you tried this place before? Do you think I am that rich? That's actually right. Everything is so expensive here. This lemonade tastes so good. Finish it up. Don't even leave a sip. It has costed $10. <laughs> I could have bought my whole week's groceries in $10. Look here comes our food. Thank you so much. It's my job, sir. Have a great day. Oh my god, this is amazing. This tastes so good. Who made this pizza, I ask who? Who made this pizza? The food tasted so good. I wanted to meet you and thank you. This is my pleasure. I got so scared, Tom. Why did you do that, Tom? I watched this trend on social media. So I wanted to give it a try. Would you like to order anything else, sir? No, thanks. Can I get the bill, please? Sure, sir. This was an amazing place. Now can you please drop me to the office? Sure, let's go. Did you enjoy your day today? Yes, I did. Have you done the project? Yes, I finished that. I still have to finish my part. Can you please cook today? Can you? I'll try to. How is your mom? She is a little sick. Does she need any financial help? She needs $1,000 for her operation. I can lend you $500. That would be a great help. Was there anything special today? Yes, I received my salary today. Are you tired? Yes, I am. Why don't you take a nap? I was thinking about that. What do you want to eat? How about pasta? Did you watch any movie? Yes, I did. How was it? Quite adventurous. Have you ever tried Korean food? I have only tried kimchi. Did you cut your hair? No, I didn't. I like your hair color. Thank you so much. Let's go in the kitchen. Okay.
Hello everyone, my family lives in a small house. It's simple but pretty. It has a large garden. I love to work in the garden, but my little sister hates to work in the garden. She prefers to read. She reads in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. I give all of the vegetables to mom and dad. They like to cook in our small kitchen. I eat any vegetable, but my sister eats only a few. My family always eat lunch, dinner, and breakfast together. We laugh and we talk together. Then my mom washes the dishes. At night, dad likes to listen to music. Mom works on the computer. I watch television. And my sister reads. Soon we go to bed. My parents go to bed late, but my sister and I go to bed early. Good morning, Sophia. It's time for breakfast. Come on, get out of bed. Sophia is already up and dressed. Go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. What are we going to have for breakfast today? We are going to have bread and omelette this morning. This is a yummy bread sandwich. Now that we had breakfast, I guess we better get going. Let's clean our house today. Throw away things you don't need. Pack up things to donate to the local homeless shelter. Clean all of the rooms. And wipe all of the windows. Mom, that's a lot to do. We better get started. We have a lot to do. I have finished my work. Why don't we have some lunch now? I don't much feel like cooking. It's okay, dear. Let's order some food today. Really? That's so kind of you. What would you like to have? How about cheese pizza with extra toppings and Pepsi? Great choice. Let's order it. What are we going to have for lunch? I have ordered lunch from Domino's today. Wow, that's great. Oh, I guess it's the delivery boy. Rose, can you please receive the order? Okay, mom. Mom asked me to go grocery shopping, but I need to study for my test. Can you go for me, Sophia? Do you think I'll go? Please help me, Sophia. Okay, but you have got to pay something for that. What do you need? Your new teddy. All right, that's yours from today. Okay, so what did Mom want you to buy? Some tomatoes, milk, lettuce, and you can buy some snacks like cookies.
Sister, look, I bought so many books and snacks. I guess I didn't ask you to buy these things. Where are the things mom asked for? Look at these things. They are so good. Go and return these things and buy what mom asked for. No, I am not going back. Why did you waste the money on these things? Go back and return them otherwise I'll tell dad. He is not going to scold me anyways. I am going inside. Oh no, I should have gone by myself. I went over the household budget and we have overspent this month. We have to cut back on our shopping from now on. Really? That's too bad. We need to figure out how much money we have spent and what we have spent it on. Let's go home and check the receipts. Grandpa, you are here. Yes, dear. How are you? I am fine, Grandpa. Let's go and play. You are playing too much games, Rose. You should go and sleep. It makes me worry about you. Why, Mom? It's just 12, Mom. I'll go and sleep after an hour. Are you going or not? I am planning to take my revenge now. How can Rose not buy the things asked to buy? What are you doing here, sister? I am planning to sleep here tonight. No, you cannot. This is my room. Well, I am going to sleep. I know she is not going to come back. Mom's sister is going to sleep in my room. Can I sleep with you? Of course. Didn't I tell you she won't come back? I am also going to sleep now. Bye bye. When mom is not home. Ashley, wake up, honey. Hmm. Mom, what are we having for breakfast? Mom? Mom, can I eat the chocolate I bought yesterday? Mom? Morning, Daisy. Morning, sister. Is mom still asleep? No, kids. She is not in the room. Then where is mom? I think she has gone for shopping. Or jogging. We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. Look at the note on the fridge, girls. Is this a letter from mom? I guess so. Dear my daughter's father and my husband's daughters. I will be late home tonight because something has come up at my parents' house. And I am needed there. Breakfast is prepared and it is in the fridge. Yes, I am so hungry. Is there anything else? Yeah, I need all of you to do me a favor. I have a bad feeling. Please help me with the housework. Thank you. Love you, too. Oh, oh no. no. Housework. Housework.
What should we do now, Dad? We need to help Mom with the housework. Okay, Dad. Let's share the housework and do it together. Sure, Dad. It's not a big deal. And girls remember we cannot do a single mistake, otherwise you will know the circumstances. Yes, Dad, I remember last time when I had broken the vase. Mom scolded me for more than two hours. Okay, then let's start the work, girls. But Dad, what do we have to do? Okay then, Anna will vacuum the rooms. Daisy will keep all her toys in the box. And I will do the laundry. But before that let's have breakfast, girls. Okay, so now let's go on work. Dad, let's warm up before starting. Sure, sweetie. What's wrong, Anna? Dad, do you know where is the feather duster? Let me think. I think it is in the storeroom. I checked there, but it, it wasn't there. Then is it in the kitchen? What? Dad, how could it be there? Did you search in the bedroom? No, Dad. I'll go and check there. Dad, I have done my work. What should I do next? Watch out, daughter. Take off your shoes. I am mopping the floor. Oh, no! Oh, sorry, Dad. Are you done? Yes, daughter, but what about you? Almost done, Dad. Wait, why is there so much dust on the floor? Because I am dusting the furniture, Dad. Oh no! Oh no, my floor. Now I have to mop the floor again. Your mom is truly the most amazing woman in the world. Exactly. Mom has been doing these household chores for many years. These household chores is really hard. Right. I am so tired. Mom is as wonderful as a wonder woman. Mom prepares breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. The house is always clean and tidy. The clothes are always fragrant and ironed. She did everything. I want to thank her for what she did. Me too. We should thank her and give her a big hug when she comes back. We agree with you. Is there any housework waiting for us? We need to relax, Dad. Sure. Daisy is sick. Anna, Daisy come on have breakfast. Hurry up kids. We will get late for school. Wait a minute, Mom. Let me put on my clothes first. I am here, Mom. Quick have your pancakes, dear. They are near the stove. Where is your sister, Daisy? She is still asleep. Why didn't you wake her up? How should I know? Alright, finish your breakfast. I will go to your room and wake her up. Daisy, aren't you ready for school, sweetie? Mom, I don't think I will be able to go to school today. Are you okay, honey? Oh, no. I am having a throbbing headache and sore throat. You are hotter than usual. I will bring you a thermometer to see if you are having a high temperature. Mom, could you please ask Mrs. Crystal for permission? Sure, sweetie, get some rest.
Mom, is Daisy okay? Your sister is having fever. She needs to be absent from school today. Guess I will go by myself. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, sweetie. Have a good day. Good morning, honey. Are the kids off to school? Anna just left a few minutes ago. But Daisy needs to stay at home, she seems to have flu. Really? Let me check her out. Could you bring her the thermometer, please? Sure. Is it in the medicine drawer? Yeah. And could you take her temperature for me? I have to call her teacher to inform her about her absence. I will do it. Don't worry. May I come in, Daisy? Yes, Dad. Are you okay, sweetie? I am very tired. I don't feel like doing anything at the moment. Because you are sick, sweetie. Here you go, put this in your mouth. Wait for few minutes. Oh no. You are having high fever. I will tell this to your mom. She will give you the medicine or she will take you to doctor. Good morning, are you Mrs. Crystal? Yes, I am. I am Ashley Watson, Daisy's mother. She is a little under the weather this morning. So could you give her permission for her absence? Sure, too bad she can't attend her class. But you don't worry. I will ask her classmates to give her today's lessons. That would be great. Thank you so much, Mrs. Crystal. You're welcome. Please take care of her so she could go to school as soon as possible. I will. Have a great day, Mrs. Crystal. You too, Mrs. Watson. Goodbye. Honey, I checked Daisy's temperature. She is having high fever. Oh, so I should take a leave from office today and I take her to the hospital in the afternoon. Okay, honey. By the way, do you happen to keep Dr. John's number? Dr. John, the family physician? I think I still have his number in my phone. I will give him a call if I find his number. Now, I should leave. Have a great day, honey. Good morning, I am Ashley Watson. Good morning. Hi Ashley, what happened that made you call me this early? My daughter is sick this morning, so I have to stay at home to take care of her. That's alright. There is nothing important at work anyway. And have you finished designing for the free campaign yet? I was working on it last night. I think I will do the draft by the end of the day, and I'll send it to you. That's excellent. But if you are too busy taking care of your daisy, tomorrow will be fine. The deadline is this Sunday, you don't have to rush. Give a call if you need any help. Thank you, Mr. William. Have a nice day. You too have a nice day. Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye, Mr. William. How are you feeling, honey? Shall I turn on the fan to cool you down? I'm cold. You don't need to turn it on. Well, then you need to change into something lighter. 
You are having a fever, Daisy. Put this on, I'll help you change. Mom, I can change by myself. Okay, do you think you need to go to see the doctor? No, Mom, my fever is not even that high. Okay, if you feel something is wrong, call me. I am right in the study room. All right, Mom, I need some rest. Okay, honey. I'll go out. Good morning, are you Ashley Watson? Yes, I am. May I know who this is? Hi, I am Dr. Richard John. Mr. William called and told me that your daughter was sick. He gave me your number so that you can provide me some more information. Could you tell me what her symptoms are? She is currently having a temperature and sore throat. It's probably the seasonal flu. Fall is coming, anyway. Children normally come down with this illness around this time of the year. Could you tell me your address, please? I live at 67, Berry Street. It's a couple of blocks from the gas station. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Thank you so much, Dr. John. Good morning, Dr. John. The traffic is terrible. Lucky that I am here on time. Your being here is great for me. Please come in. So where is your daughter? She's upstairs, in her room. Please follow me. How long has she shown her symptoms? She seemed to have a little fever last night too, and she didn't even eat her food properly last night. I will examine her more thoroughly and give her some medicines. Daisy, this is Dr. John. He'll ask you some questions, so just tell him how you're feeling. Okay, Mom. Good morning, Daisy. How are you? I have a troubling headache and sore throat. Oh, I see. Let me check. These are the medicines. Give it to Daisy twice a day. She will be fine soon. Thank you so much, Dr. John. Please like, share, and subscribe. How are you? I am good, and you? Good. Would you like some coffee? Yes. Thank you. I would like some coffee. Where were you? I was in the market. Where is the nearest bank? Where did you go? I went shopping with my family. What would you like to eat? What time is it? It is 8 o'clock. What do you do? I am a teacher. May I help you? No thanks, I am just looking around. How can I help you? I am looking for a vanilla cake. Is this your mobile? Yes, thanks. Is there a school near here? Yes, there is a school nearby, and it s next to the post office. How would you like to pay? I would like to pay by credit card. How much cost? This cake is for $20. How many people are in your family? We have 10 people in our family. How do you come to school? I come to school by bus. 
Have you got any children? No. Have you got a house? No, I live in a flat. Can you speak English? Yes, I do speak English. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Can I pay by credit card? Certainly, we accept all the major cards. Are you married? No, I am single. What did you buy? We bought some new shirts and clothes. Do you have an email ID? Yes, I have email. What the weather like? It is raining heavily at the moment. What is that? It's a smart mobile. What is your family name? My family name is Brown. What do you think about this book? I think the book is very interesting. What do you do on holidays? I like playing football, reading, and listening to music. How many rooms are there in your house? Two bedrooms, one living room and a kitchen. How are you? I am good, and you? Good. Would you like some coffee? Yes, thank you. I would like some coffee. Where were you? I was in the market. Where is the nearest bank? Where did you go? I went shopping with my family. What would you like to eat? What time is it? It is 8 o'clock. What do you do? I am a teacher. May I help you? No thanks, I am just looking around. How can I help you? I am looking for a vanilla cake. Is this your mobile? Yes, thanks. Is there a school near here? Yes, there is a school nearby, and it s next to the post office. How would you like to pay? I would like to pay by credit card. How much cost? This cake is for $20. How many people are in your family? We have 10 people in our family. How do you come to school? I come to school by bus. Have you got any children? No. Have you got a house? No, I live in a flat. Can you speak English? Yes, I do speak English. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Can I pay by credit card? Certainly, we accept all the major cards. Are you married? 
No, I am single. What did you buy? We bought some new shirts and clothes. Do you have an email ID? Yes, I have email. What the weather like? It is raining heavily at the moment. What is that? It's a smart mobile. What is your family name? My family name is Brown. What do you think about this book? I think the book is very interesting. What do you do on holidays? I like playing football, reading, and listening to music. How many rooms are there in your house? Two bedrooms, one living room and a kitchen.